And so 2016 brought us a lot of really good TV shows, most of them on streaming services, it seemed like, though, this year. Uh, yeah, Netflix has the best TV on, on, I guess not really on TV, but on your television screen, Netflix will give you the best. So these are just the best shows that we saw for 2016, and some of them are season two, season three, season four, whatever they might be, but these are the TV shows that we saw. Now, Brendan might be different again, and just new to him but uh let's start off with that list then brennan hey give us your one your five through one for tv uh, shows so I'll, that you've I'll, seen. I'll tell you i actually did watch a good bit of tv this year and including oh, okay. new tv the a lot of them were you know on their second or third season but i did watch a lot of tv this year so uh also okay. all my stuff are currently running shows there you go so well, a hey, number throw them out there all right at number five Iron Chef America, and I'll tell you why. I started wa- getting back into this, and when I was watching it one day while my kids were asleep... Because you they, like cooking shows. Yes, I do, and I love the original Iron Chef, uh, the Japanese one, well, and yeah, I was that's... okay with the America one. Now I'm really into the America one because I've watched more of it, and my kids got really into it when they came over and saw They're like, what are you watching, Dad? I was like, well, I, I guess they're allowed to see this, right? There's nothing wrong with it. And yeah. now that's like their favorite show. And so I watch it all the time with them. It's, it's a great show that I can actually watch with, with my children about cooking stuff. And it's got, it's awesome. And, you know, whatever. So that's nice. number five. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. What's and number four? Number four is Suits. Uh, it's a show about okay. uh, kind of a lawyer. I don't believe it's still <laughs> currently running. No, I, mean, yes, I believe it, it ended last year, but okay. No, oh, it's okay. still running. All right. All right. Like, go ahead. They're go ahead. on season six now. So. Right. Um, and I, I, my, my brother-in-law recommended it to me. I, I went through all of it. It's still currently running, like I said. Uh, it's I went through all five seasons that were available, and some of six uh, already this year. Um, okay. Good time. Guy cons his way essentially into being a lawyer when he's not supposed to be a lawyer. And the last season that I saw, the but really, what season, are lawyers if they're not big con men anyway? But <laughs> it's fun times. I recommend it. So, right. number three. What do you got for number three? Marco Polo on season two. And this is one that I, I did see pretty quick. Oh, Brian pestered me about get, making sure I saw season two for a while. Um, I saw season one, season two. Uh, I think we talked about the, the in-between stuff. It was it was good. I think it it, it actually uh, kicked it up a notch uh, from, from what it was before. Definitely did. Um, it, it actually got better, and I was surprised because that was uh, that was a hard one to follow up. All right, number two. What's your number two? Now, here's another Netflix original that we I don't think we've talked about, but uh, it's Kuro Makuro, which is a Netflix original anime. It's an anime, yeah. yeah. I, I don't think we have talked about it, no. Uh, I, I watched it because I had nothing better to do, and then I just got absorbed, sucked in. It, you know, it's an anime that has little hints of a uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, but not really trying to be that, not too much. Actually, there's hints of a lot of different things that blends well and becomes its own thing just fine. Um, I love that they're able to take a lot of classic anime tropes, and you think that they're going to go that you know normal, classical, like lazy mo- direction with it, and then they mm-hmm. really quickly twist it and like, oh, nope, we're not going that direction at all with this. We just hinted at it and yeah. to screw you. And they use it very well. So it's very good. There okay. are two seasons up now. Um, so watch both of them. It, it, I can't wait to see the next uh, season when it comes out. Cool. And at number one. Right. Number one. Dark Matter, which season two is, okay. is out this year. Uh, really like it. Um it cool just show. Cool sci-fi it, show. It gets you absorbed. The twists keep coming. You keep wondering what's going to happen. And then things that just escalate and escalate. Like, you know, they they figured, resolved the big problem of the last one. Now they had to go through the continuations yeah, from another there. Big problem. Great. So without giving out, it, that's one that you can't give too much away. But watch it. Lots of twists and turns. Yeah. Good times. Check it out, people. Sci-fi yeah, it is a good action. Show. I, I've enjoyed that show. I have enjoyed that show, too. All right, let's move on to my top five, top fives of 2016. These are all current TV shows. Actually, Brendan was all current. Was all I, current. Um, oh, so let me hit you. Over. I will, oh, before we start yours, one honorable honorable mention from my list, which was not, not this allowed. year. Uh, you'll, you'll like this one, Firefly. 
because I also okay, watched that for yeah, yeah, Serenity. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I watched that for the first time this year as well. Um, I'll let that go. I'll let that one get on there. That I'll only that gets honorable on mention just because it's the only one that was not current year. So I because it would have been number one. So. Yeah. yeah, it would have yeah. been number one. Yeah. So um, all right, my top five TV shows of 2016. Let's start with number five, and this is one from Brennan's list. I think this is the only place we actually overlap, and that is uh, Marco Polo season two. Like Brennan said, it really just up the ante from the season and took it in different directions that I, I thought was really refreshing. And I love the time period. I love the story. Everything about it is amazing. So check it out if you haven't. Uh, then number four, talk about Uhtred, son of Uhtred. That was the last kingdom. After Game of Thrones went off in uh, June or whatever, that me and my roommates needed to find some sort of good, you know, epic show where people got cut in half with swords. And this is stepped in very nicely. So yeah, and and the guy's name is really Uhtred, son of Uhtred. So check it out. It's an amazing show. It's a BBC show. Um, then number three, we have Daredevil season two. And that's because how can you not be amazing when you introduce the Punisher? The Punisher. And John Berthold played the character perfect. And, I mean, we still had the great cast from Daredevil season one. Everything came back, and it just it just hit all cylinders. And it makes me so excited for the Defenders. So, so they've been so good, doing a good job of, um, of redeeming the superheroes that had terrible movies. Yeah, well, Daredevil won. And, and, oh, and Punisher yeah, had yeah, yeah. Yeah. movies. That's true, too. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. So that's number three. Number two is another Netflix original, and that would be Stranger Things. If you haven't seen that show, I, I don't know what you're doing. It is just like, oh, it's such an amazing show. It's just such a fun ride. It doesn't matter who you are, what type of movie or show you like. It's got a little bit of everything. Yeah, there's some suspense to it, but it's not scary. Yeah, there's some funny parts, but it's not a comedy. Yeah, it's got like a little kid's adventure, and it just, it just brings you back to your kid, and you have that sense of wonderment, and the whole show is amazingly done incredibly well written uh just everything about it is amazing so check out your things it's on netflix if you haven't because yeah it's 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 the truth that's all i gotta say it's the truth so but that takes us to number one and i'm guessing everybody knows what number one is and that it was really better than stranger things or daredevil season two but i i just kind of feel a, I, like i have to put it on um i was actually rob stark for halloween it did the costume did good for me so you know it has to be game of thrones uh season six they're just it, it, winter's here that's all i gotta say is winter is here winter is here so go out and check those tv shows out tell us what you think hit us up with your top five list of the best tv shows of 2016 or hell just go ahead and hit us up with your top five tv shows of all time because that's apparently what we do when so, brendan just hey, watches hey, movies hey, on tv hey, shows really late these right? were the top ones that i watched this year well, yeah, although actually, the TV shows were all new. You. Brian, TV shows were all this year. Okay, okay, okay. But most of the time, this is how Brendan rolls. But <laughs> yes, uh, let us know what you think. Comments down below. Of course, at Watch My Face on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. But let's keep. Going.